When you think of the PTA, you think of moms and bake sales, but dads are getting involved too. They're talking about some of the most important issues facing students. And bullying is one of the biggest problems in schools across the country. Lisa Vincent is live at the National PTA Male Engagement Conference with more. Hey, Lisa. Hello, Naja. You are right. We're live at the Embassy Suites on the plaza, and that's exactly what they're talking about bullying. We're again live at the National PTA Conference, the Male Engagement Conference, and of course, the PTA and of course, the Watchdog Organization. Um, they're very committed to getting men involved in the classroom, and today the topic is bullying in the classroom. Talk to us about what men, what fathers can do to really help out in the classroom and prevent bullying. Great. Well, with National PTA, we have a, a great program called Connect for Respect to try to help create safe school environments, uh, you know, for our children. And uh, here, you know, Watchdogs here today, one of our great partners, they are very um, uh, engaged with, with PTA's partners and, and, and really help bring the dads to the classroom. And Eric, uh, they, they do a wonderful job with us on that. Now, Eric Snow is with the Watchdogs organization. Talk to me about how you all work to get dads in the classroom and how that can prevent bullying. Absolutely. Well, first let me say that Watchdogs is actually a male engagement uh, initiative of the National Center for Fathering, which is headquartered right here in Kansas City. And you can go to fathers.com and find out all about our nonprofit that helps get men engaged in the lives of kids. We have a Watchdogs program called Stands for DOGS, Dads are great students, show schools how to bring men into the classroom, get them engaged in a variety of ways, but actually in the hallways, in the classroom, on the playground. Principals, teachers, and counselors have been telling us for years that when you have an adult male in the school, incidences of bullying drop dramatically. Part of that's because of the positive male role models, showing these kids that a bigger and stronger person doesn't pick on a smaller person. In fact, it's better to be a hero than a bully, uh, but also just as the deterrent. Now, the conference, the workshop starts in a matter of minutes. What are some of the nuggets you guys are hoping the administrators and, of course, these dads take home with them today? Well, it's designed to actually give them uh, tried and true methods of engaging men in education. We have strong fathers, strong families here. We have uh, All Pro Dad here, which are two other wonderful organizations that have a proven track history of bringing men into the schools. And the thing is, National PTA are the ones that brought us together and gave us this opportunity. So we're so grateful. They're going to go back to their schools. We've got people here from all over the country. I mean, we have, what, 30, 40 states represented. Right. They're going to be able to go back and actually have a tactic, a, 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 a practice that they can go in and implement and have it up and running in a matter of weeks that will work in their school like we've been able to do in other schools. Thank you so much, Eric Snow, with Watchdogs and Ortha Thornton with the National PTA. And again, a very important work going on here today. Now, the conference works, wraps up at noon today. But if you want any information about the National PTA or the Watchdogs program, go to our website, kshb.com. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News. Sounds like a fantastic event, really mm -hmm. going to make a difference in our community. Thank you, Lisa, and we look forward to hearing uh -huh. more from you in a bit.